COVID-19 is having an unprecedented impact on many names in the sector, particularly around those used in the hospital setting or physician's office. Over the last month, patient utilization of the healthcare sector has been vastly diminished between CMS guidelines suggesting elective surgical procedures should be delayed, as well as shelter and place orders. The fear around COVID-19 has kept even patients from calling an ambulance when they have chest pains or stroke symptoms and other clinical needs that traditionally would be treated on a pretty urgent basis. Now, more broadly, decreases in procedure volumes in certain regions are thought to be between 30, 50, and in some cases, 80% down. As such, while most of the headlines center around COVID-19 diagnosis rates and deaths, the pandemic's actually taking a much broader toll on patients whose conditions will probably worsen and they may or may not survive a delay in treatment uh, because of the deadly nature of their own chronic conditions. Now, despite that, there is hope for optimism for the sector on three fronts. So first, many companies have adjusted pretty quickly to the new environment to help healthcare workers and patients alike. Second point, MedTech's pretty well positioned to be part of the solution in an environment like this. Companies that specialize in home health, for example, have an already built-in infrastructure to treat patients outside of traditional healthcare settings. Now, many of these companies were in early innings of adoption before COVID-19 hit, but in our opinion, they should see some pretty elevated demand rates and durable share gains on the back end. Third point, many of the cases that are being delayed are expected to come back in the next three to six months or six to 12 months. CMS is already loosening restrictions around elective surgeries, and we're seeing anecdotal examples of healthcare settings that are COVID free, uh, such as an ambulatory surgery center. This should dramatically decrease the risk of exposure while also getting care to the many patients that are on the high clinical needs spectrum. And then finally, the go-to-market strategy. Uh, so for a lot of medtech companies, this may shift pretty materially in a post-COVID world. It may create some challenges, but also has the potential for greater efficiency and impact. Medtech players are gonna have to find some pretty creative new ways to support and train surgeons and their staff. That could include telesupport and training capabilities, uh, which are coming online quickly and may offer significant opportunities for increased efficiency and lower cost, albeit with the unclear impact of clinician preference and ramp. So these times are certainly unprecedented. Many of the names that we focus on though have some really good staying power and should see increasing demand as we move past peak diagnosis rates.